Hi, I'm Kelly Busby with Kingwood College and we're talking about IPPB. The earlier film talked about how to give a treatment correctly. I'm going to show you what the patient can do to make to, to uh, make the treatment incorrect. First thing we're going to do is tighten our leaks because I hear a leak down here. Okay, this should be running 50 PSI off the wall, not, not on the floor meter. Okay, now I'm going to take a good treatment first and then I'll show you how the patient can make problems and then how you fix it. Okay, now, that was okay. Now I'm going to make it incorrect and I want you to, to tell me what's the problem. Okay, if you notice my cheeks are puffing out, I'm blowing into it and watch the dial, it should be going up. Now I'm going to stick my tongue in it to stop it. Both of these will not give a volume. Notice with both of these, the chest isn't rising and the breath is too short and you can tell it stopped early. This is what it sounds like if you have a leak. I'm going to disconnect one of these lines. Notice the pressure never rose and it never stopped trying to give a breath. Now the other thing a person can do is a patient can, can leak through their nose. So I'm going to show you what that would sound like or look like. Now, to take care of that problem, we put nose clips on. Okay. Another problem that can happen is your patient's mouth isn't tight. You ask them to open the mouth, put their teeth on it, and put their lips around it tight. And if the person had a stroke, they may not be able to. You may have to use this device. And this device is going to go on to where it faces the patient like this. Okay. All right, when my patient can't put his lips around the mouthpiece, like say he's stroked out, we can use what's called a mouth flange, and I'll put this around and I'll support it with my fingers to press tightly around the lips. And if my patient can't cooperate at all, then we put a mask on him. And yes, this mask is a little too small for me. Now, other things the patient can do wrong is that the patient can breathe too fast. 